bike race a marathon or a sprint? And if so, where does China stand in this race? The recent launch of Huawei Technologies Mate 60 Pro smartphone might shed some light on this question. Pro, a smartphone boasting 5G capabilities, surely took the industry by surprise. Remember, it's only been a few years since the US imposed sanctions, limiting Huawei's access to advanced chips. At that time, Huawei had primarily been selling 4G phones and saw its global smartphone market share drop dramatically from 12% to a mere 2%, according to CounterPoint research. But before we break out the champagne, let's examine the situation closely. The main chip inside the Mate 60 Pro, as per industry research firm Tech Insights, uses technology comparable to the 7 nanometer process, likely manufactured by China's leading chip foundry, Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, or SMIC for short. But here's the catch. SMIC is still significantly behind market leaders such as Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing, which has already mass-produced more advanced 3 nanometer chips. SMIC, without access to cutting-edge equipment like extreme ultraviolet lithography machines, has had to resort to older tools for advanced chip production. This method, known as multi-patterning, may incur higher costs and lower yields. The unveiling of Huawei's new smartphone has certainly sparked patriotic fervor among mainland Chinese people, with phrases like breaking through US sanctions, overtaking in the curve, and far ahead US flooding social media platforms in China. However, the reality might be a bit sobering. Just a few years ago, China's chip champion SMIC was two or three generations behind global leaders. Fast forward to today, following several rounds of crippling US sanctions against the Chinese semiconductor sector, China's chip industry is now at least five generations behind, according to Gerald Yin, founder and CEO of China's Advanced Microfabrication Equipment Inc. Huawei's new phone is a testament to how US sanctions have spurred collaboration between the Chinese government and industry players. However, the road ahead remains uncertain. Huawei and SMIC might only manage to advance one more generation using the multi-patterning process. As sanctions tighten, acquiring the latest chip-making tools is becoming increasingly challenging, potentially requiring China to manufacture its own chip-making equipment. Meanwhile, companies like TSMC continue to push boundaries, further widening the technological gap with China. To wrap it up, Huawei's Mate 60 Pro is indeed a significant accomplishment for a Chinese company navigating US sanctions. However, it seems that China's semiconductor industry and broader tech ecosystem will remain trailing behind the US and its global partners for the foreseeable future. So the tech race continues, with China striving to catch up.